Fear stops us from achieving our true greatness. Are you a professional woman who is feeling stuck, unmotivated, or burned out? Are you worried about your wellness? Are you letting fear stop you from crushing your goals? If you answered yes to any or all of these, then this is the podcast for you. Dr. Charmaine Gregory, Night Shift Emergency Physician, Burnout Thriver, and Wellness Champion, along with everyday heroes just like you, will explore how to face fear in our lives and emerge victoriously. Hello, Fearless Freedom family. So, welcome to the April Fool's episode of Fearless Freedom with Dr. G. And something very special is coming your way. We have on the podcast, Cassandra and Kim, and they are the amazing women behind the Curio podcast. So they're going to take it away and take over, or should we say, is it a takeover? Yeah, it'll be a takeover. So please sit back relax, and enjoy the broadcast. I'll see you in a bit. I've rarely met a girl who's such a potent argument in favor of international relations. A stretch. I close my eyes and I dream of something quite astonishingly different. And all my days are trances and all my nightly dreams are where thy dark eye glances. Welcome to Curio, the Curio Podcast. Blah, 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 blah. blah. <laughs> Hey, everybody. Hello. Welcome hey. to the Curio Podcast, Kimmy. Hey, Cass. What's up? Nothing. What's going on today? You know, we're playing a prank on some people. Ha ha. Ha ha. It's April Fool's Day. You thought you were going to be listening to Fearless Freedom with Dr. G. <laughs> but oh no. You get us bozos, us clowns. We're not doctors, that's oh. for sure. No, we really are not doctors. Nope. Not even close. I would hasten to say we are not of the doctorate level at anything. No. No. <laughs> no, no. But today we were going to talk about uh, a travel story. Each of us are going to tell a travel story, something. We hadn't even really thought of it yet. We're here on the fly, kind of. And uh, something about when we were traveling that was either uh, a mindful experience or a life affirming experience or an in the flow kind of an experience. Um, yeah, so we'll take a little break right there and we'll come back and we'll talk about the trip. <laughs> Conky, and we're back. 
Welcome back, everybody. My name's Cass. I'm Kim. You can find our podcast on all of the podcast catchers, as they call them yes. in the world. Um, but the story that I wanted to tell today was about uh, my trip with my husband and my daughter to New Orleans. And it was my second time being there. But the first time I went, I had gone with a, a, a friend of mine and her family, and they were very religious, and they wouldn't let us out of the car. So we drove <laughs> through New Orleans. <laughs> And that was when I was 16. So um, a couple of years ago, 2013, we went on a cross-country driving trip and we drove through um, the southern states. Through We stayed in Austin and then we went to New Orleans and then we drove up to Memphis and then drove home, went to Oklahoma City, places like that. But um, while we were in New Orleans, and I, I don't, you know, there's that glow, not glow, that that feeling that you get when you're traveling and you're somewhere new you've never been before. Yes. That feeling yeah. is so incredible. Everything looks brighter. The food tastes better. You All know. your senses are just peaked. So yeah. good. So good. So we were riding on a streetcar one night and we were talking to a local. And we were. she was asking what we were doing while we were there. Oh, we're going on this tour. We, we're doing this. And, you know, she's like, have you eaten beignets oh yes we've been eating beignets every day and she's like well the locals go to this place called morning call out in the the big park that they have there in new orleans and so we were like oh let's try that tomorrow so we drive out there in the morning and uh it's a coffee shop a cafe in the middle of the park and like a building standing alone in the middle of the park? Yes. Okay. And the park is beautiful. It's like what you imagine a park in New Orleans would look like. Mm -hmm. It's breathtaking. And there's ponds and, you know, sculptures and all that. But there's a freestanding building and it contains this this cafe that the locals go to called Morning Call. So we order our beignets and our chicory coffee and we're sitting there at a bar. The three of us are sitting at this bar thing. And it's one of these buildings that's like partially open. So there's like birds flying around. And it was a chilly day, like a sweater weather day. And so we're eating. And all of a sudden, these these men in windbreakers, and I believe they were all wearing the same windbreaker, they started to show up at this cafe and walk past us into the corner behind us Hmm. over and over again. And I want to say there was maybe 10, 15 eventually. And so we're eating these beignets, and they're the best beignets in New Orleans, right? And we're drinking the chicory coffee, and we're in the middle of this beautiful park, and there's birds flying around, and it's amazing. These men break out in song spontaneously. <gasps> oh. We find out later that they were a male choir from like Sweden or Finland oh, or something. Oh, wow. And I don't know if they were there for a competition or what, but it was a moment where we were sitting there and I was completely in that moment. I already had the travel glow about me, right? right. But I'm sitting there going, this is almost magical. This is one of those <clears throat> moments where this this could never have been planned. You could have never orchestrated something like this. It was... Com- You're just absolutely present, soaking it up. Just so much. Oh, present in the, the flow. Best. Magic. Yeah. So my husband, <clears throat> excuse me, he actually took out his phone and started a voice memo. So from 2013, I have <gasps> what the men were, were uh, singing here. Oh, and my wow. favorite part is when an employee steps in. To tell him to bring it home. Oh, yes. So I'm going to play a little snippet for you guys right now. Boys. <laughs> All right. 
Oh, they sang some more, awesome. and we have more. But I, the part that I loved was that guy, and the the employees there were dressed up like old style nineteen fifties waiters, you know, little hats on, and he was sitting there in the or standing there in the moment, standing with these guys with probably the same grin that we all had on our faces. And when he said that, bring it home, boys, I was like, ah. he didn't know there was a break in the song. He was an employee at that cafe. Those guys didn't live there. They weren't locals. They were visiting just like right, we were. Right. Like it was all so serendipitous. So in my mind, when I think about those ki- types of travel moments, that's the big one that sticks out for me. Well, and if you think about it, these people came into this cafe and they captured everyone's attention. They're wonderful singers. Yeah, you can't hear it very well from the from the recording. It's on a You can hear phone, the I mean, but... I could hear the the gist of it. Yeah. I mean, obviously they're professionals or somewhat professionals to be traveling and singing. Right. So everybody is there in the same moment. Yeah. Everybody's there in the same moment, and that makes a difference. I to, I believe it does. I think collective what, mindfulness. It's a collective mindfulness thing, and it changes the it changes the atmosphere. Bona fide, right. in my opinion. Bona fide. Bona fide. Do you have any cool traveling stories, Kimmy? Um, I do. This moment has stuck with me for many years. Um, I was in South Africa. And I was backpacking, rough travel style. Um, and uh, I had stayed, my my boyfriend at the time and I stayed in this wonderful hostel. It was just beautiful. But it was way up kind of in the hills. It wasn't close to anything. Mm-hmm. Um, there were no buses that would go up there. Uh, taxis were too expensive. So we walked Oh, no. To the local local botanical garden, and it was beautiful. It was just lily ponds and all of these exotic plants I'd never seen. I love plants, so I always want to know about all the plants right. wherever I am. And oh, um, that would be interesting in South Africa. Oh yeah, it was oh. amazing. There was so many interesting new different plants. It was a, um, it was. December here? No, no, no. I believe it was like February. February ish. Yeah. Um, so it was, uh, it was f- late summer, fall there. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a cloudy day, and I had my, I had a backpack with me that had the basics in it. You know, a bottle of water and um, maybe a power bar or something. Right. Money, you know, just the basics. Right. And um. <clears throat> so we walked all the way there, and it had to have been at least two or three miles, at least, mm-hmm. um, probably more. Walked all around the gardens, and then um, we were going to leave. And we started walking back um, down this road. There weren't a lot of people around. It was probably midweek, so people were at work. There wasn't a lot of cars or pedestrians around. And it started to rain. And I sat down on the curb, and there was nothing I could do. I didn't have an umbrella. There was no shelter anywhere. This was like a road out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. There was no shelter. I didn't have a jacket. I had what I had. And I just sat down on the curb and got drenched. And it was the happiest drenched ever. (laughs) Because there was nothing. It was, I was free. And I knew that. Like, I had nothing. Nothing was binding me to anything else. I didn't have to fix it. There was no fixing it. There was just sitting in the rain oh. and feeling the rain. And it was warm and it was a warm rain. It wasn't yeah. a, a downpour. It wasn't a sprinkle. It was a bona fide rain. Right. But it was just, I was able just to be there in that moment, getting wet. My eyes, you know, <laughs> rain in my eyes and my ears, my hair was wet. And it was peaceful. It was perfect. Aww. And whenever I think of a sense of freedom, you I think, think of, of that. that moment. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Very powerful. It's simple. Just a simple thing. You it know, is like, very simple things. And you can't always plan them. Oh, no. I think if you try to plan them, you've kind of, you know. You've raised the expectations too high. Yeah. You're invested in a different way. But yeah. when it comes at you, 
it's it gets you yeah it's not your job to get it Ooh, you've got to wait for it to come get you wow and then just enjoy it you know soak it up just be there you're pretty cool kimmy you are too Cass. Oh. Ooh. so i'd like to thank all of uh dr g's listeners sorry we invaded your your ears your ear holes we're not doctors <laughs> The listening part of your brain. We are the Curio Podcast. Um, you can find us on the curiopodcast.org. We're also on Twitter and the Facebook and the Instagram and the everywhere. So we are. And Dr. G's podcast. It's called Fearless Freedom. It's Fearless Freedom. It's pretty good. I've got more Fearless Freedom stories. You do? Like what? Yeah. Well, I don't want to take up more time. Oh, Next right. time, or maybe we'll talk about it on Curio. We can. Yeah, that would be a fun topic. All right, we'll see you guys later. Thanks, Dr. G, for letting us invade your um, your feed for April Fool's Day. <laughs> Thanks to everybody. All right, bye. Thank you, Kim and Cass, for taking over the Fearless Freedom with Dr. G podcast today. I hope that our family enjoyed your podcast, I because I know I did. I love listening about what it's like to be mindful during travels. I thought that was absolutely fabulous. And so I hope that you guys will check out these lovely ladies on their podcast, which is the Curio Podcast. And definitely hit them up with some stars and subscribe if you like what you hear. Okay? Have a great day. Happy April Fool's.